After the xenomorph attack at the atmospheric processor and the crash leading to the destruction of the dropship and APC, the surviving Colonial Marines salvaged as many resources as possible in order to survive the ordeal on Acheron. Among these resources were four operational UA-571C sentry gun units, which were set up at vulnerable perimeters as the group set up barricades and anticipated their rescue in approximately 17 days. These weapons inspired confidence in the team, with Hicks stating they really kick ass, and even relieve some of Hudson's stress. In the novelization of Aliens, Hudson praises the weapons and their efficiency. I've set up hundreds of those suckers. Once the ready lights come on, you can leave them and forget them. The Colonial Marines tech manual states that the major components consist of a snap-open tripod mounting, a battery pack, breech, and barrel assembly as well as a sensor unit and 500 round ammunition drum. A microwave data link connects the sentry to a remote command console. Once in place, the system may be set up to sweep wide arcs up to 360 degrees, subject to terrain and emplacement restrictions. The doctrine is set to several sentries to cover smaller, interlocking fields of fire on a narrow frontage, the UA-571C mounts a pulse-action machine gun using the M250 by 28mm heap rounds. The weapon has a cyclic rate of 1100 rounds per minute and is air-cooled with an automatic cutout preventing the loading of any more rounds into the breach should overheating cause a chance of ammunition cook-off. Of course, these weapons are more advanced and intuitive than to simply fire at anything or anyone that may come into its range. Its sensor array and mode options provide further benefits by way of conserving ammo and preventing friendly fire. The tech manual further states that the sentry unit sensor array is mounted above the barrel, aligned to cover a 60 degree cone in front of the weapon. This sensing suite consists of a cooled infrared detector, ambient light optics, an ultrasonic motion tracker, and a lidar. If a target's visual or thermal profile is known, the system may be set just to monitor these specific targets using infrared or optical. However, the system is usually set to multispectral model, where the sentry software cross-correlates received data from the different sensors to obtain a full target profile. If the sentry is set to auto-remote, it will interrogate all targets in its sensor cone using an IFF, Identification Friend Foe Transponder. All Colonial Marine personnel and vehicles carry an IFF transponder in their communications gear, which sends back a coded radio signal when interrogated. If the IFF return is positive, the weapon will let the soldier or vehicle pass, otherwise it will open fire. If the system is set to manual override, or semi-automatic, this information is flashed back to the command console where the system operator can decide whether or not to open fire. When the weapon fires, automatic servos in the tripod bore sight the weapon on target. The number and grouping of rounds fired in a burst is dependent on the target profile, so that the most economical use of ammunition is made. While the sentry units provided a great deal of defense for the team on Acheron, and was crucial to their survival, many remember that in the theatrical release of Aliens, the sentry guns were omitted completely from the plot. This decision had nothing to do with the quality of those scenes, but mainly to reduce the film's runtime at the request of 20th Century Fox. These scenes are thought to be a highlight of the special edition version of the film, and one of the contributing factors to it being, in the opinion of many fans, and James Cameron himself, the superior and definitive cut of Aliens. Not only did the inclusion of the sentry gun scenes introduce another unique and interesting piece of USCM weaponry, add further tension to the film, refine any perceived plot holes regarding the perimeter defenses in the complex, but it offered further insight into the tactical nature of the Xenomorph. As we see in the closing moments of the sentry gun scenes, the aliens, succumbing to the rapid fire of the sentry units, retreated from their fire, displaying that the xenomorph is anything but a ravenous, mindless killing machine. As Ripley observes in an additional moment included in the novelization version, they gave up. They retreated. The gun stopped them. That means they can reason enough to connect cause and effect. They didn't just keep coming mindlessly. Other than its appearance in Aliens, the UA-571C sentry gun units have found their way into many alien-themed video games, notably appearing in most Alien vs. Predator titles. If you've ever played the Alien campaigns in an AVP game, you can experience the power they offer over the threat of the Xenomorph firsthand from the point of view of a Xenomorph. I think it's fair to say that Hicks's comments about the weapon hold true. 
Are you among those who feel the inclusion of the sentry gun scenes make Aliens a stronger movie? Or do you feel the scenes don't contribute one way or another? Comment below and share your thoughts. And as always, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching today. I appreciate you watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. And you can subscribe to the channel for all the latest videos. I'd like to offer my very special thanks to our Wayland Yutani executive, M. Yurik, part of the Patreon Hive. I'd also like to thank our Hive's queen, Lady Anne. If you'd like to join the Hive and support the channel, check out my Patreon page for exclusive posts and contests. In the meantime, you can catch up with Alien Theory over social media. Follow at Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and at Alien Theory YT on Facebook and Instagram for more. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.